What is going on guys? Rachel Nicely here. Today I'm taking you through a Sunday fun day type of day. It's about 2 o'clock so I'm getting the camera out a little bit late. I've had a productive morning full of chemistry. I'm upset. 50,000 on my head. Um, I'm about to head to Peak where me and my BFF work. Um, I'm going to give you the rundown of her workout and then we're going to go to the grocery store and I'm going to give you the rundown on the anabolic diet. So let's get started. <laughs> So I am back at school, um, and I didn't post literally any fitness things, you know, of that nature for like this whole week. Um, and the reason behind that is because I was being a big old grumpy gill, and I, I just want to take this minute to discuss why you shouldn't do what I did. So. I started this YouTube channel and my goal was to put out really great content because I this is all I think about like lifting is 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 my passion you know and fitness and all of that you know all the that falls under that category I love this is my fall off I love and so and this has been something I've, I've been wanting to do for a long time now so I was like okay I'm gonna do it but the deal is is I, I have to stick with this you know um, I, I have to stick with uploads whether it's once a week ugh, whether it's once a week or whether it's twice a week like whatever it is I need to stick with it um, because you know if you're gonna start something you gotta you gotta do it and you gotta finish it and if it's something that I that I've been thinking about for a long time then I need to you know stick with that so I wanted to talk about how I was in this dark cloud grumpy I wasn't I didn't post not because I was feeling lazy about it but because I just didn't have that that creative spark that I that I'd been having and that I normally have so attitude is truly truly going to be everything for you it's the new year a lot of people have um, new goals a lot of people have a lot going on but but here's the catch to a lot of people my age are, are back at school and so with that you know comes this this mentality where you get school is a lot it's a lot for anybody no matter your major and um, you know you're not always gonna want to be the most dedicated with with everything that can go on at school and that's okay but it's that's where you're gonna get that that piece of the time management you know there's a time for everything and I, and I truly believe that a time to socialize a time to have fun there's time to work out but it comes down to how you how you have an attitude about that how you time manage for yourself like I can't sit here and tell you how to manage your time because your 24 hours in the day is different than what I got to do in my 24 hours of the day okay so I just want to say if you are in the same boat that I was I was being grumpy because I miss my boyfriend who lives you know a little bit away from me I miss my dog who lives with my boyfriend and um, I miss my home because I'm a big old mama's girl but you know what like that you know what all three of those are they're excuses they're excuses because here's here's the catch I I want my I want my undergraduate degree right there is no way for me to get that get to that end goal without me going through what I'm going through right now I can't just you know skip over this spring semester you know I can't do that so that's when you gotta buckle down and say okay I gotta quit I gotta quit being a baby about this and I gotta suck it up this is something that I want to do and I'm gonna make the the freaking most of this time being here I love my roommates I love my major I love where I work so you got to focus on these positive things you know it's not like I'm, I'm never gonna see my boyfriend I'm never gonna see my dog thank God we don't live in the 1900s like I have FaceTime I call that freaker every day on FaceTime so I just want to really really encourage you that if you are in this little slump like I was please 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 be intentional about getting out of it whatever you need to do whatever you know gets you out of these slumps do it you know for me it's at the end of the day either physically writing down or thinking before I go to bed three three gratitude thoughts like three things in that day that I'm thankful for they're easy as having this big ass coat to wear because it's cold as the devil outside like that's what it is you got to have that come to Jesus with yourself and say, okay, this is where I'm at. What am I going to do to better myself in this season of my life? So please, please think about that. And uh, I just, I just really strongly encourage you to be happy and be positive with where you are in your season of life. Because 
I I know that each season will serve a purpose, and I, I have the faith for that. And you know, you can't you can't get yourself bogged down by these these moments of being just human, and that's what it comes down to. So be intentional, and um, let's get out of it. Let's get through it together. I'm on the way to the gym now, so um, I'm gonna pick this back up when we get there. I'm gonna show you the workout. I'm gonna do some arm accessory and stuff. I'm gonna let Lauren give her rundown on her workout, and uh, yeah, it's gonna be a really good time. So we're out here at Peak finally. It's a really good time. We're ready. This is like the little rundown of it here. So we write up the workouts. It's a really good time. Jenny eats. We're doing a, a abs and arms day. So we're gonna record that for you guys. Abs and arms. We're true bros. So let's get to it. So this is our anabolic diet um, grocery haul for the week. We'll see, it should last us. We've got like three bags of veggies here, some avocados, some chicken, and um, it was like 20 bucks for the both of us. So a really great deal. Um, Everyone diet is gonna be primarily fat. So I had recorded a little section talking about the anabolic diet and what I do on a regular basis, but it was honestly really trash. So I wanted to wait a day or two and have a minute to give a little bit of a whiteboard talk. So here we go. On this whiteboard, you will find a little bit of what I do. So I'm incorporating intermittent fasting, as you'll see at the top, mixed with an anabolic diet type of effect. So starting at the top, talking about the intermittent fasting portion. It's gonna be periods of eating and periods of fasting. I'm doing the 12-9 method. So what this means, I wake up around 5.30 or 6, and then I fast until 12 p.m. In this time, in this area of here, I'm training, I'm going to class, I'm doing different things. Um, the only thing I'm drinking is water and some BCAAs because I'm training and I don't want to be too catabolic to my body. From 12 to 9, that's my eating window. So 12 p.m. I have my first meal. Um, I, don't, I don't normally get hungry until about, uh, about 10 or 11. And when I do, I just chug a bunch of water. Um, making sure you're hydrated is going to be a really big key here. So if you're a coffee drinker, which I was normally until I started doing this, it, it really dehydrated me. You can have black coffee, you can have water, but nothing to... Um, too calorie dense because it's going to start your fast and the purpose of fasting is to increase my metabolism it's a beautiful morning I, each bird keeps singing his song, song. um you know be sure my body is doing what it's supposed to be doing and not digesting food that whole time so um just making sure you're staying hydrated is going to be a really big key here so what my meals are is going to be a protein and a veggie and a fat that's at 12 o'clock and then if i get a little bit hungry you know around like three or four which i don't normally do but sometimes i do i'll have a protein shake a cheese stick some pepperoni something like that that's not like really carby um and then again i'm gonna have my dinner about five or six sometimes seven it's gonna be another protein veggie and a fat 9 p.m here's the kicker i'm doing a banana and peanut butter so with that carb spike that's a little bit different protocol from uh, Dr. Pasquale who who prescribed the anabolic diet which I'm following a little bit but I'm also mixing it with what Corey G Fitness does 
it's called anabolic fasting so you're mixing the anabolic diet with fasting so this isn't keto because I'm, I'm eating vegetables and I'm eating um, nuts and other things like that that have a little bit of a, of a carb factor to it you know I don't I don't track my meals anymore because it's easier just to go handful of this handful of that and a fat you know I'm going protein I'm going veggie and it's, it's as simple as that. I don't really need to change you know or weigh out what I'm doing it's really easy it's really controllable and I've really liked it so far um, I've been doing it for about three weeks now so not seeing abs yet but um, I am going to keep keep an update on that um, I am enjoying it I do have increased energy you can train fasted you can wait till 12 o'clock to eat a lot of people think that you know they just absolutely need to eat and I promise you that your body will get adjusted to it um, regardless of what you're choosing to do. So again, I'm going to flip this back around give you one more look at, at what I do on a daily basis. Um, and if you're interested in some type of full day of eating or anything like that, uh, just let me know and that's definitely something that I can do. That's all I got for you on this video. So I hope you enjoyed the workout. I hope you got something out of the anabolic diet and my little car talk. Um, and until next time.